Hello, this is Rob Cook, host of the Contenders Wanted podcast, and you're tuned into Dream Chasers, interviews with the future. And now, a word from our sponsor, High Rise Capital. High Rise Capital is a boutique commercial real estate investment firm that helps high income professionals, high net worth individuals, and family offices obtain above average returns with reduced volatility and tax efficiency from high quality commercial real estate investments. High Rise Capital helps clients achieve meaningful investment returns, generate multiple streams of income, and participate in investments that enhance lives and provide a tangible societal benefit. To learn more about High Rise Capital, please visit their website and download their free ebook, More Doors, More Profits, both of which you can find in the show notes. Thank you. This is Dream Chases, episode 159 with Adam Carswell. Hey guys. Hi, Grandma. This is Adam Carswell, and welcome to Dream Chasers, interviews with the future. On Dream Chasers, we bring next level talent to the light. Thank you for tuning in. Now let's get straight to the interview. Hello, and welcome to your May 2021 Next Level State of the Union. My name is Adam Carswell. Hi, Grandma. I am your non-president, power to the people believing leader of the new free world. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner, not a tax specialist, not an attorney, not a doctor, not a scientist, not an astronaut. In fact, all of the information I am going to share with you right now has a 100% mortality rate. Here we go. Um, happy to be back here live in the Facebook group. If you're listening to us on Dream Chasers, you actually can catch this presentation or this monthly State of the Union um, when it actually goes down by joining our Facebook group every 18th of each month at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can join that Facebook group. <clears throat> Excuse me by going to facebook.com slash groups slash I X Carswell. That's I as in Idaho, X is in xylophone, my last name. Facebook.com slash groups slash I X Carswell. Would love to have you there. Uh, we're actually on a mission to hit 1000 members moving at a good rate right now. We're somewhere between 250 and 300. Uh, once we hit a thousand members, we will be going underground. What I mean by that is the group is currently private, so like you can take a look at it publicly, but you can't interact unless you're in it. Um, and then once you make the group secret, you know we're calling it we're calling it underground, but it technically on Facebook to be secret, so you won't even be able to find it unless you're on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So trying to build build this you know inner circle thing, and it's working. So happy to have you here, especially you know if you're in this first 250, you're really a foundational member. Wish we could give you all a trophy or something. Maybe uh, Rena, Diane, Joe Penn, people who I'll give shout, shout outs to later as well, members of our team, um, Aaron, April, Courtney, who, am I, who else am I not thinking of? Well, there's more to come. Anyways, if you're on the next level team, let's start thinking of how to give our, our founding group members a little bit of appreciation. Um, by the way, if you are watching now, don't be shy. Go ahead and drop a comment in there. Put, drop me a hashtag next level if you're watching right now live. Um, and if you want to take that to the next level beyond that, happy to answer any questions along the way here. Uh, I've got a little bit of a lineup for you, but really this whole session is dedicated to you. So ask away. One moment as I refresh my feed, because I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Sometimes that can happen. Anyone who, who's a live streamer, you know what I'm talking about. There we go. There we go. See, <laughs> refreshed it. See the comments coming through. My man, Derek Reiner, what's up? Congratulations, Derek, on the new job. I'll let you do the talking in the comments because um, I don't know at what, like, at what level of celebration you're at yet. You know, sometimes you hear you get a new job. You're like, wait, no, don't tell anyone yet. So sorry, I will say you got a new job. If you want to let everyone know um, what's going on in your world, man, I'm, I'm very proud of all the hard work you've been putting, putting in. It's been really uh, fun to watch and obviously being your friend through it all. So, um, Rena, and okay, awesome. We got Jopin in here. Um, anyone who's on the Next Level team, please drop our Telegram group chat in the comments. 
um, as we're making our way through here. We always want to give a quick promo to Telegram. It's a great app. It's a little bit more private. As I mentioned, we're going to eventually make this group underground or secret once we hit a thousand members. Telegram is kind of already that experience, if you ask me. Um, in there, every now and then drop in, you know, just a little nugget, personal note, what I'm working on. So if you do like me, <laughs> go ahead and hang out in there. We have a good time. Um, Liberty Fund, the Liberty Real Estate Fund. I got that first on my list today. For those of you who do know and don't know, um, for the past couple of years, at least, I've been working on a project with Michael Flight, Jason Ricks, Sam Halawi, Jordan Steck, not to mention a few other names I already mentioned, like Courtney Stone, even Aaron Eilers involved there. Um, a few others, it's quite the project. Sharaf Islam is a great friend of mine and also a founding member of the Next Level Mastermind. Anyways, you guys can go to libertyfund.io, libertyfund.io, right there on the landing page is a link to register for the launch of our fund. And if you're listening to this beyond May 20th, which likely you, you might be, <laughs> um, just go to libertyfund.io and you can check it out. But basically it's the world's first single tenant net lease, uh, triple net lease <laughs> security token fund. And, um, I know that might sound like Chinese to some of you out there, but long story short, it's an innovative combination of real estate and blockchain technology that has not been done before. And we are now launching and we're raising, I believe our, our um, we're on the mission to raise 30 million right now. So come hang out with us and learn about a way to invest outside of Wall Street because my God, why would you ever even want to consider doing that? Um, I've just met so many people in the commercial real estate space, not to, well, no, I am going to bad mouth it, <laughs> get out of wall street, get into something like commercial real estate, or I know you guys are going to laugh at this, but Hey, we, we definitely got some inside information here. And it's also a system that's nowhere near as centralized as wall street, the crypto market. I got an update for you on the crypto market coming up soon. So crypto and commercial real estate can't go wrong. Holler at us. We know what's up. Um, as I mentioned, I want to get some shout outs to the team here. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. We got the comments coming through here too. Yes, Sharav, my man. I gave you a shout out earlier. I hope you heard it. Guys, if you are here live in the chat, Sharav has added so much value to this Liberty Fund project. You have no idea. Hustler, um, someone who just has that entrepreneurial spirit. He, um, I think he just landed a gig with Shopify, which is awesome. I know I joked with him because it's like, dude, you're, you're built to be an entrepreneur. Why are you taking a job? However, as a sick company to get a job with. And I'm sure if he ever decides to you know, go there and leave and start doing his own thing again, like, man, his skill set is going to be off the chain. It already is. So thank you, Sharaf. Shout out to you. Shout out to Joe Penn, who's here live. Diane, Rena, April, Aaron, Courtney, our next level team. So many things happening here that um, really, I thank you guys so much because it's been my dream to be in a position where I can just show up and speak and it's pretty much getting to that point now. <laughs> so thank you, team. You guys rock. Um, oh, and Derek Derek also dropped his information on his new job there. There we go, Shroff. Thanks for dropping that in there. Uh, guys, go connect with Derek Reiner. Congratulations, Assistant Vice President of Bank of America, commercial real estate underwriter. My man. <laughs> guys, it, actually, underwriting is a very um, not spoken about skill in the commercial real estate space, but very valuable. A lot of capital raisers are always looking for good underwriters. So it's a skill I recommend if you have an accounting background or you like playing with spreadsheets, consider educating yourself in underwriting. Derek would be a great resource. Just get connected with him. I'm sure he's super busy, so he might not be able to teach you right now, but he can get you going in the right direction. Reach out to Derek. So the shift is a shift that I've taken up on a weekly basis from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern every Monday. There is a, hmm, how, do I, how do I explain this? An NFT focused community, focused on NFTs, but not limited to community um, that I've been very blessed to get connected with through Jillian Godsell, who's been interviewed in this group many times. Um, long story short, they've created a time spot for me to come on for an hour and talk about blockchain, NFTs, cryptocurrency, like things that I love going down rabbit holes on, but it's like, um, you know, you, you have to be careful where you focus your energy. And I was like, man, I, I know I had to kind of cut back on how much I've been geeking out on crypto, but now I have this perfect portal 
where I can like spend an hour every week getting super educated from like the industry's leaders um, and stay ahead of the curve. So guys, like what I learned when I'm interviewing some of these people who are just like so far down the, the whatever you want to call it, <laughs> rabbit hole, I'll use that reference again, as far as like uh, technology, what, what we learned there on the shift, I'll be always bringing it back to you here. And if you want to subscribe to the Crypto Writer Podcast, excuse me, on YouTube, as I mentioned, I go live there every Monday from 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern. And it's, uh, it's just, if you want to be ahead of things, that's where you want to be. It's very tech and nerdy. I always say to the people on the show, I'm like, talk nerdy to me because I need to get smarter. Um, come hang out with us there. Crypto Writer Podcast. That's going to be on, um, on YouTube. And I believe you can also go to writer, W-R-I-T-E-R dot I-O if you want more resources on that community. It's great, great to be a part of them and just so much potential in that sector. Transitioning now back to commercial real estate. Actually, let's take a look at the comments. Guys, don't be shy, by the way. You know, in the comments, uh, if you're with us here live, drop a question. Anything I've said so far that's like made you like go, hmm, or like something maybe I'm forgetting about that I'm working on that I haven't talked about or, you know, whatever's coming to your mind, drop it in there. Um, Love getting the crowd involved, giving you guys some shout outs. Um, but yeah, transitioning back to the commercial real estate side of things right now, um, we're getting closer and closer to this, you know, you want to focus, what's the, where is it? I think I might've referenced this last, last month, um, but that whole 80-20 concept, um, I'm still working my way through this book by Perry Marshall, Sales and Marketing. 8020 sales and marketing, the, def the definitive guide to working less and making more. Got referenced this by my buddy, Frank Kern. I say my buddy, I've actually never met him, but if you go to frankkern.com, you'll see he is the man. Anyways, um, the general idea of just the 8020 rule, I'm sure many of us have heard it, is um, you know, you want to focus 80% <clears throat> of what you're Wait, oh, am I getting, am I going to get this messed up now? Holy crap. I'm not going to get this messed up before I do uh, just Google it. Cause it's um, that's so funny. How is that slipping my mind right now? You guys are probably laughing at me because it, it, everyone knows it. Everyone knows the 80, 20 rule. Look it up. Um, anyways, we're getting close to that 80, 20 percentage with raise masters is what I was trying to say, which is awesome. You're going to continue to see everything that we're doing firing in all cylinders here because of that refocusing of energy into raise masters, which is the number one mastermind for elite capital raisers. You go to raisemasters.com and right there, there's a link to reserve your spot for our next webinar, our upcoming webinar, which is Fuego, AKA fire, life-changing, come hang out with Hunter and I, raisemasters.com, the number one mastermind for elite capital raisers. And man, we are getting ready. We are already taking off and getting ready for even more. It's just so much fun. I want you to be a part of that if you can, especially if you're raising capital. What do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? <laughs> All right, cool. So um, as we've discussed, we're going deeper and deeper into cryptocurrency. John Caldwell, who's a very good friend of mine, he did a webinar on YouTube, or excuse me, um, it's on our YouTube channel. It's called The Fundamentals of Cryptocurrency. Um, Johnny and I have been in the crypto space since 2016, 2017, when the last boom happened or whatever. And that was, man, I remember, I was thinking about it a couple of days ago. I remember when um, getting into Bitcoin, when you, if you publicly talked about it, everyone just automatically just assumed it was like some kind of like multi-level marketing or like Ponzi scheme or something. And um, it's just really funny to me now how it's like a, a household name, more and more people, like way less people like raise an eyebrow to it now. And it's just funny how in less than four years, um, how quickly, you know, the light bulb can kind of come on for our society. I mean, it's probably the same way for the internet too. I know the internet used to get made fun of all the time. Email used to get made fun of all the time as far as, you know, the people saying this is the future and the people saying, yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> so I, I see crypto following a similar trend. Same with DeFi, same with NFTs, as I mentioned, all of these things that are very tech driven, they get laughed at a ton at the beginning. So my advice is always look for what's getting laughed at the most in the tech space, 
but yet has a lot of people that are very bullish and strong and behind it. It's normally a good way to go. And so that's what we're seeing with crypto. So to sprinkle the cherries and all that good stuff on top, the last Wednesday of every month, John Caldwell, who is within my friend group, uh, we call him Leonardo DiPaprio. <laughs> Long story. His nickname is, John, is Poppy Seed, Johnny Poppy Seed. And we've always joked our whole lives that he was going to be like Leonardo DiCaprio from Wolf on Wall Street, but even better, because like I said, we don't really care a whole lot about Wall Street over here. Um, but when it comes to the crypto market and having the right knowledge to always stay one step ahead of what's coming out, uh, Johnny is Leonardo DiPaprio, <laughs> and he's going to be hanging out with us on the last Wednesday of every month moving forward for the next level crypto forecast. And that is from 11 a.m. Eastern until 1130. So um, I know I'll be going live with him this month. The goal and the vision is to get it to a point where Poppy Seed is just showing up, um, rocking out solo on his own because, you know, he's the man. He can totally do it. But I'll, I will be there for the inception. Aaron Eiler, who is the number one apprentice in the whole wide world, former intern of mine and just has taken everything he's doing to the next level, um, has launched a mastermind specifically for young professionals or college students, both combined, you know, college students, young professionals, um, and experienced business professionals slash entrepreneurs. Kind of in the commercial real estate investing space because that's where we hang out but not, not limited to, and not limited to on either end. You can be a professional in your, in your forties looking for work. We would gladly uh, accept you into the mastermind or should I say Aaron, but basically the whole point here is it's building a bridge between people who are hungry and want to learn and want to take their lives to the next level. Like I use the hand examples, people who are hungry and want to learn and take their lives to the next level and stop laying around all day. And when they get up, it's for the people who, when they get off work, they actually keep learning and they want more and they just want to grow, 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 grow. It's for those people and it's for the entrepreneurs and the business owners and the professionals that used to be like that. We're building that bridge. So that way the people who are super hungry can get fed and don't have to figure it out on their own. You know, we're saving years of time on the growth curve. So Aaron Eiler is the man for that. If um, someone could tag him in the chat, uh, that'd be great. Just so people can go to Aaron as a resource. If you can't track him down, you can always reach out to me. But anyways, his mastermind is coming together very nicely. Um, and he's also partnered up with April Munson, who's doing a great job as well at keeping him organized. And man, this thing is going to be awesome. And I'm just so proud of uh, everything Aaron's doing. He also just launched a podcast. Um, and so let's go ahead and throw that out there too. I mean, if you are someone who is seriously considering launching a podcast, um, we have Aaron in April, who's coming out very soon. Be on the lookout. April's got episodes and interviews coming out soon. We've got people who, um, who just, you know, went from, I have no idea how to do this to launching their own show in very much less than six months, maybe three months. So if you're looking to seriously start podcasting, let me say this too. If you're looking to seriously start podcasting, you have to say and make up in your mind, okay, I'm going to do this for the next three years because that's how long it takes for it to really be worth it. So just remember that. But if you're thinking about it, um, we would love to help you get going and point in the right direction. We're seeing some early success here and uh, you know it, it's fun and it works and we got the people behind us to do it. So let us know if you're, if you're interested in becoming a content creator, getting your voice out there. Got some life hacks for you. So um, got a few more updates here, but before that, let me check the comments. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, you know what? I forgot to hit refresh. Forgot to hit refresh. What do we got? What do we got? Cool. All right. So um, Austin Linney, Anthony Vecino, drop their names in here a handful of times. We are working on writing the book, the book of the decade called Prepare for Impact, How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Digital Age. Um, I'll reiterate this, you know, Anthony has, I don't know how many books he's actually written. He's published 12 of them or something crazy like that. Background in science fiction and fantasy. So it's really cool that we're writing like a book on business with someone who has a background like that. By the way, check out Anthony's um, website. I believe it's Invictus Multifamily. Uh, you can just type it in on Google. You can also type in Anthony Vecino on Google and he actually has a tab. <laughs> we were joking about that before. He's Mr. Famous, um, and Austin is my my buddy, 
fantastic networker. We're always seeing who can network better. Um, he just put on, I don't know how many live events Austin has done now, but even pushing through this era of time that we've been living in, and he's been able to pull off live events. Now, part of that's, you know, in my opinion, he's blessed and lives in Texas, so he can still do, for the most part, what he wants to do. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Austin, I'm just so proud of him because if he keeps doing these these uh, events, man, it's uh, it's going to scale very quickly, especially at a time like now. So, Austin, keep it up. Um, and, yeah, that's who I'm, who I'm writing the book with. So, Prepare for Impact, How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Digital Age. It is coming soon. We actually haven't <laughs> announced the launch date yet, but I, I'd say it's, it's safe to say we're, we're hoping to get it out by – um, you know, the summer, fall at the latest. Um, right now, I'm actually skipping out on a Clubhouse session. Um, now, for those of you who are familiar with Clubhouse, yeah, that's right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sorry, I was talking and then I just start going. But um, we got a comment from Jopin. Exciting times ahead. And Jopin, we are excited because we have you on board and you're pushing everything that we're doing to the next level. So heck yeah. Um, but anyways, talking about Clubhouse, kind of a hot topic that died out real quick. A lot of people are getting skeptical about it, saying it's going to, you know, it's going to phase out. No one's going to use it anymore. I think the app went through a phase there where it boomed because of timing. Um, it was booming at a time when, in my opinion, <laughs> unfortunately, the entire world was shut down. So people had nothing else to do besides hang out in these rooms like that was the club especially when it you know it was just perfect timing so um it got off to a hot start now it's kind of dwindling however um it's still valuable for many reasons and one reason specifically i know is we actually have a crypto you know keep talking about crypto now we have a a, a bitcoin hedge fund that does a well, we've had them in, on dream chasers before too cloudfire capital every tuesday from 8 to 10 p.m uh eastern they we they slash we because i'm normally in there <laughs> except for right now uh, we just hang out sit around or you know wherever whatever everyone's doing you can only see your you know your image your your headshot there on on clubhouse but everyone hangs out for two hours every tuesday um and something valuable always comes out of that conversation they're actually probably live right now so if you hop on clubhouse i'd say just look up um adam lack jim morales uh adapia dorico Jaden Johnson, um, any of those names that they ring a bell to you, if you follow them on Clubhouse, I'm sure you can just go look them up and hop in that room right now. So every Tuesday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern, we're in there talking the future of blockchain, which again, um, this is not, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. This is not a phase. This is the future. That's what we're all about here, by the way, which is interviews with the future. You already know it. So um, quick, quick little check on time. Okay, 23 minutes in. So we're going to go for about another 10 minutes, roughly. Um, dream Chasers, speaking of, we have an interview coming up tomorrow here, live, with Kolya Spori. After Kolya, next week, we have an individual named Travis Day. And then after that, all I got to know, all I got to say, the next like three to four weeks are going to be serious, serious business on Dream Chasers. And uh, Kolya Spori, who's coming on tomorrow, is, I mean, I've met a handful of people that I'd be like, yo, this is, you know, this is the most interesting man in the world. Kolya um, definitely is a contender for that argument. He's been to every single country in the world except for two. He's a part of some collective or group where like their job is to just literally travel around the world. Um, he's someone who, when I get information from him, I take it very, very seriously. He's one of those guys where it's just like, okay, he, know, like, he knows stuff and he knows people that have a lot of influence. And when I say people that have a lot of influence, I'm talking people who are like in the shadows that run the world that we don't even know about type of influence. So he's coming on tomorrow to talk about what's been really going on this past year, what's going on moving forward and how to effectively navigate and travel through this time and, you know, retain your freedoms, retain your identity um, and persevere through 
what seems to be quite an attack on society. I don't like using, I got to figure out a new word besides society because it just sounds so like cliche, but um, yeah, Kolya is what I would call gangsta, <laughs> savage. Like you're going to want to hear what he has to say. So we're going live tomorrow in here. Let me go ahead and drop that for you. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. If you're not in the Facebook group yet, go to facebook.com slash groups slash IX car as well. Because you never know. Sometimes maybe we won't put this on the podcast because we got too many guests coming on that we don't have time to post the State of the Union. I don't know. <laughs> Just get your butt in here because, again, once we hit a 1,000 members, we're going underground. Um, Kolya and I are going live tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for probably about 30 minutes to a half hour. Oh, man, I'm so pumped for that one. Um, and then, as I mentioned, Travis Day, I'm going live with him on May 25th, which is, uh, yeah, next week. <clears throat> and that interview is actually tied to, to a similar topic, which, again, is uh, I'm trying to figure out the right terminology so that way, you know, these, uh, these, uh, these robots or whatever don't flag me. <laughs> but he's coming on to talk about, as a medical professional, a nurse, uh, to give his perspective again of what's really going on, you know, hey, I'm a, we're all we're all truth seekers here. We seek the truth. We want the truth. We want freedom. We want what we deserve, which is many things. And if you're not catching my vibe, then well, you'll catch it either tomorrow or next week with either Kolya or Spari, Spori, <laughs> Kolya Spori or Travis Day. Sorry, it's been a, it's been a long day. Definitely. Oh, shout out! Got to give a shout out to Nikki as always. Beautiful fiance, but you're Nikki. You're probably watching at uh, at at work right now. Appreciate the hustle. Appreciate the grind. Just finish drinking that cold brew that we got. We got uh, some kind of like Starbucks. I've never seen it before. It's like Starbucks concentrate, cold brew concentrate. So you pour like a little bit in your cup and then throw the ice and the water in there. Um, that was good. I'm tempted to get another cup, but that I know that would be too much for me today probably gonna take a no caffeine day tomorrow just because we've been because we've been grinding i'm going hard over here so um a few more housekeeping things oh actually you know what that so that brings me to the end of uh everything i had for you guys today now um i'm sure there's some other things that can be addressed so allow me to take a deep breath and and think of what what God gives me here. <clears throat> got it. I got it. I got, wow, I just got three things off of that. Let me actually write it down real quick. Um, okay, cool. So I want to share this with you guys because this has been super, super game changing over the past couple of weeks. Uh, Nikki and I have been intermittent fasting and we've done it before. Um, uh, like I know, well, I, she's told me like we've, we've both done it before. Right. But like, we haven't taken it this serious until now. It's been, it actually makes two weeks um, by the end of today. And I remember when we first started, I was laughing because I was like the structure in which we wanted to do it. I was like, that's, that's crazy. Not that, I, and again, not that I, it's not doable, but I'm just thinking about like, no, no way, it can, we can't do that, can we? And it's been so easy. So why I'm saying this is because basically we've, in a 24 hour day, we've been breaking it down where we basically don't eat for 20 hours and then we eat for four hours. Um, so what that looks like in, in our world is, you know, no breakfast, really no lunch, and then eat around either six, seven or eight, and then extend that four hour window from that point. And what I found, is honestly, throughout the beginning of the day, especially if you hydrate, you know, you get some water, maybe some coffee, tea, whatever, you, it's really not that challenging. I think, think maybe the first day or the second day might have had a slight headache at some point just because your body is just on this schedule where it's used to eating. Um, however, I found that I had more energy, more focus, um, it, more energy and more focus, clearly, to begin with. Um, it makes you really take that one meal each day that you eat like super, super seriously. Like you get pumped up and you're just like, oh, okay, can't wait to eat this, the salmon or the steak. Or like we had Nikki made some burgers today that were off the chain. So like, 
you just appreciate the eating process <laughs> more, the eating process. And, um, and then while you're doing it, you're also like, I mean, just Google it, look up what happens when you fast. Obviously some people might tell you like, oh no, don't do it. It's bad. But like, especially that's probably coming more from a traditional world. We don't believe in tradition around here. So um, like, just check it out. Highly recommend it. And I ain't gonna lie, like I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. I've been, been working out a lot more because of it too, which is funny. I was afraid that like, if I work out in the morning or midday that like, oh, I'm gonna be like so hungry during the day, I'm gonna need food right after I work out. Nope. I mean, I might get a little bit, but you just, again, push through it, drink some water, be all right. So think about it, 20, 20-4, 20 not 24, 20-4 hour intermittent fasting, highly recommend. Uh, probably even going to continue to do it beyond this two week stint that we've had. Um, the power of taking a step back and either praying or meditating, like what I just did, just want to remind everyone out there when you're in a phase of life or just like a moment where you like, you basically don't know what to do next. It's amazing what you can manifest when you just stop and take a deep breath. And there was a time recently when I did that trying to figure out how can we take everything that we're doing here with the IX and next level brand? Um, how can we just get it to a level where it's super systematized and make it so that the content creators within here, like Aaron, myself, April, and all the content creators to come moving forward from this brand, like how do we position all of ourselves to just show up and talk? Like what systems do we need? And I have to just give a huge shout out to our, quote unquote, executive assistant, more like chief operations officer, really, Rena Guerrero for all the systems she has in place. If you're someone out there who's considering hiring a, again, I say quote unquote VA, because likely what you'll find is the same thing as me, is they're going to end up doing a lot more for you than just like VA work. You got to pull the trigger on it and you can start small. Um, my advice would also be to encourage your VAs or your EAs, or again, however you want to like label this individual, um, get them going on Trello. Trello is powerful. That's how we stay organized. And we have a lot of things systemized, systematized through it that it's just not my skill set. So shout out to Rena. Um, and that, that realization, I just want to share it because that came recently in a meditation session. We're just pausing to take a break. Um, and then the last piece here, guys, it is time for me to say goodbye because getting ready to play Nintendo Switch online, probably Mario Kart with the boys back home. Shout out to Todd Squad. You already know who you are. That's Todd Squad, T-A-A-D, totally above average dudes. And once a month, we do what we like to say, we get doity on them and we compete against each other on Mario Kart and it's too much fun, basically. So looking forward to that. Um, it's coming up very soon. So thank you for tuning into this months next level state of the union i just looked over at facebook and speaking so we have like a group chat and uh somebody in that group who's going to be playing mario kart with me in a matter of minutes just posted a hilarious gif of like some guy going like like he's like looking around with it. so anyways i guess it's about that time ladies and gentlemen here we go let me let me close this out <clears throat> and actually let me just double check here we got any more comments coming through Nope. So let me just give a, one more shout out to Joe Penn, Sharov, Derek, and was that it? Okay. Yep. That's our comment crew for today. Um, go check out the links that they left here on Facebook. Again, you can go to facebook.com slash groups slash I X Carswell. Don't forget to check out libertyfund.io, the world's first single tenant triple net lease security token fund launching Thursday, May 20th. You can invest now, and likely by the time you hear this, you can still invest. Um, man, exciting future there. And then super, super energized. You, already, you guys already know, an exciting future with Raise Masters, the number one mastermind for elite capital raisers. Come join us on our upcoming webinar. You can go to raisemasters.com and register there. Come rock out with Hunter and I. That is the future. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Thank you. This has been your May 2021 Next Level State of the Union. My name is Adam Carswell. Again, I am your non-president and power to the people, the leaving leader of the new free world. 
As I mentioned, it's a disclaimer here. I'm not a financial planner. I ain't a tax specialist, not your attorney, not your doctor, not a scientist, not an astronaut. In fact, all of the information that we just shared over the past about 34 minutes <laughs> has a 100% mortality rate. Thank you for investing your most valuable resource with us here today, your time. And remember, in all you think, say, and do, take it to the next level. Thank you once again for investing your most valuable resource with us here today, your time. If you enjoyed today's episode, please drop a five-star rating and a review below. Take a screenshot of it and send it over to nextlevel at carswell.io. We have a present for you. We really appreciate you guys leaving those reviews because it really helps with the overall SEO and visibility of the show and allows us to continue to bring on high-quality guests. So once again, thank you. And remember, take it to the next level.